Jerry. Bill Dundee, Jerry Lawler. Uh, subject always of a lot of attention here. Bill, one. Huh? Before, before we start talking about Wayne Ferris and Larry Latham, we've got a couple of little things we'd like to tell you. Tonight, the superstar is going up to Greenfield, Tennessee. Thursday night, the superstar, the King, and Jerry Jarrett's all going to be in Forest City, Arkansas. Hey, so all them pretty too. little girls come on down and see the three prettiest guys in the Mid-South, right? Now, to get back to old, what's his name, Wayne Ferris? Yeah. He stood out here and never answered your question, did he? He never. He turned around and walked off. That's said, I'll right. answer those Okay. Questions. Well, let me tell you something, Ferris and Latham. You can keep the belt for exactly four weeks because that's what you got for your next title defense is four weeks. They can hide and run and do whatever they want to do. But right now, the belt isn't important. Ferris, I don't like you. And I know your cousin hates you. Larry Latham, you're nothing. All you are to me is a little... What, he looks like Santa Claus, don't he? <laughs> well, come Christmas time, brother, you'll have a job because you're going to be at the wrestling business after Monday night. So you just hang around Memphis, wait for Christmas, put the big red outfit in the big belt. Then they'll give you another belt to hold that big belly in. But this time it's going to be a fight, Lance Russell. And I mean a fight because I done got wound up and I know the king's wound up. And when we get wound up, brother, there's nobody, nothing can stop us. Mm. And that's a fact, Larry Latham and Wayne Ferris. You take a look at the king and the superstar because they're the two guys that's going to put you right out of the wrestling profession. And that's a promise. You know, I got an interesting uh, reaction in there. Uh, Ferris working on the theory that if you say it enough times, maybe you'll convince somebody the big lie routine. Talking about the battle that took place last Monday night, left you guys playing all over the ring. What a wild scene, but I didn't yeah. see you laying there. You were chasing him. That's exactly right. And last Monday night, we picked up just where we left off down in Tupidol. And let me say, you know, you may be right about what he's thinking. If you repeat something enough, you begin, you begin to believe it yourself. Well, what he's repeated in his brain and what Jimmy Valiant drilled in that head of his was that I tried to keep him out of the wrestling business. Let me tell you something, Wayne. Punk Ferris. We'll leave off the rock. You're just nothing but a punk. Let me tell you something, boy. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be in the wrestling business. Now, let's get things straight. He came to me one day and he said, hey, King, can you help me? He's teaching school up in some little hick town called Munford, Tennessee. He comes to me and says, can you introduce me to the right people? I said, I'll do that, but that's all I'm doing because if you want to get in wrestling, you make it on your own, son, just like I did. So he did that. I introduced him to the promoters. He got booked. I, I got to admit, he made it in the wrestling business. Then he got with Jimmy Bay, and that boy led him right down the wrong path. He told him, because Vayan hated me so much, he told him, hey, you need to quit hanging around with your cousin. Get away from him. He don't want you in the wrestling business. He's jealous of you. Well, let me tell you something, punk. Valiant led you down the wrong path, and you done gone too far to turn back now. I don't want you in the wrestling business anymore. You got it right. I'm going to get rid of you. I'm going to get you out of the business, punk. You messed with me one time too many. Come on down here Monday night. Bring that jerk partner of yours, and I'm going to beat the hell out of both of you. Okay, Jerry. Tell you what, I think it's about time we take time out.